Bonjour! Today, let's take a look at the different types of verbs in French. Now, before we begin, why do we even need to understand the types of verbs? Conjugations are a very important part of the French language. To understand these conjugations, it is very important that our concept of the types of verbs is clear. D'accord, let's begin. To start from the very basics, what exactly is a verb? A verb indicates an action. For example, manger, to eat, marcher, to walk, être, to be, semble, to appear. This list of verbs is endless. Now that we know what verbs are, let's move on. Let's forget about French for a moment. Would you be able to classify these verbs as regular or irregular verbs in English, might I add? To sing, to walk, to climb, to eat. Let me help you. I can see two verbs that are regular here. That is walk and climb. The question is why? Well, in English, Regular verbs are conjugated in the same way and follow the same patterns. For instance, to put walk in the past tense, one adds ed and it becomes walked. Similarly, to put climb in the past tense, one adds ed and it becomes climbed. Simply by adding ed, the verb changes to its past tense. It's time to have a look at the other two verbs. We cannot simply add ed to sing or to eat. I cannot say I singed and I cannot say I eat it. Sing changes to sang and eat changes to ate. Thus, these verbs fall under the category of irregular verbs. One must learn these. There is no rule that can be followed. We have understood now that in English, we have regular and irregular verbs. Well, the same happens in case of French as well. There are three groups of verbs in French. Two of these groups fall under the category of regular verbs and one group comes under irregular verbs. ER verbs and IR verbs are regular verbs and verbs that end with OIR and RE mostly fall under the category of irregular verbs. Let's now have a look at the first group. The first group includes regular verbs that end with ER in their infinity form. The infinity form means to watch, to dance, etc. This group includes most verbs. It's time to look at a few examples for the ER verb. Regarder, to watch. Chante, to sing. Marcher, to walk. Tomber, to fall. Equite, to listen. All these are ER and regular verbs, so they will follow the same pattern of conjugation. There is, however, one exception from this category, that is the verb ALLE, which means to go. This verb comes under irregular verbs and does not follow the patterns of conjugation that ER verbs follow. Now, Coming on to the second group, that is IR verbs, that also come under the category of regular verbs. I will now be listing some examples from the IR category of regular verbs. Choisir, to choose. Finir, to finish. Obeir, to obey. Abolir, to abolish. These verbs will all be conjugated in the same way. However, just like we had exceptions in the previous one, it also gets a little tricky in this one since there are multiple exceptions in this category. Now, I'll be listing down a couple of exceptions, but more of these exist. For example, dormir, to sleep, venir, to come. Now, these two fall under the category of irregular verbs and do not follow the conjugations or the patterns that IR verbs usually follow. 
Such examples must be learned by heart. Now that we know about regular verbs, we will move on to irregular verbs. Verbs that end with OIR and RE mostly fall under the category of irregular verbs. Now, I'll be listing some examples of verbs ending in OIR, such as savoir, to know, pouvoir, to be able to, vouloir, to want. Now, verbs ending with RE include attendre, to wait, prendre, to take, mettre, to put. Irregular verbs also include the exceptions that we talked about from the previous category, such as dormir, that ends with IR. Now, all of these verbs are conjugated in different ways and thus do not fall under the category of regular verbs. The conjugations and tenses of each of these irregular verbs must be learned and there are no specific rules per se. Voila! You are now ready to learn about the conjugations of these verb groups. Your types of verbs are completely clear. Messi, au revoir.